Hi guys, in this video we will discuss the scatter paint tool that is introduced in Cinema 4D S24 in detail. You can just see I have created one scene where ground is there, compound wall is there and now I would like to add grass to this ground using the scatter paint tool. The scatter paint tool is available in this place tool flyout in the command palette. I need to press and hold the left mouse button on this place tool and here this middle tool is the scatter paint tool that I have selected now. On selecting this tool you can see this scatter paint tool settings are displayed in this attribute manager and also the cursor is changed. Here two modes are there that is add mode and remove mode and here three tabs are there. Mainly you can see when you choose this paint tab, this paint area is displayed and you can set the options in this paint area to scatter the object that is selected using the scatter paint tool. Now here I have already imported one grass object from the asset browser. You can see this asset browser is over here. When I choose this asset browser, number of Objects are readily available in this asset browser and enter the text over here for which you want models. Like if you want grass, you can just enter grass over here. So number of grass objects are displayed over here and you can just select the one you want. So like this, number of objects are there in the asset browser. So you can select them. Now I'll just close this asset browser. I have already imported this grass over here. Now you can see this is the grass if I just zoom in over here. Now let us choose this scatter pen tool and when you want to scatter this grass all over the ground you need to make sure that this add button is selected and here now I need to increase the radius suppose I increase it to 5 suppose I make this object spacing to 5 and suppose I keep this use splats checkbox selected. When it is selected, these two options are activated. When I clear this checkbox, you can just see these options are not activated. Suppose I increase this splat setting to 2 and I need to put some value in this count edit box. Suppose I keep it, suppose. 25 let us keep it and now I will start clicking on the ground like I am just painting you can just see I am just moving my cursor over here by pressing the left mouse button I have kept my left mouse button pressed you can see now if I in decrease this object spacing and if I now start clicking on the ground, you can see now dense grass can be painted on the ground. So it is a very useful tool where you can just paint the selected object on the any other object surface. So like this, you can just add the grass all over the ground. You can increase or decrease the radius like this you can change the count you, you can change the splat spacing using the splat spacing edit box you can see now this grass can be painted all over the ground within very less time now if i want to remove some of the grass or suppose i have by mistake I have painted the grass on parts of ground where I don't want it then in that case I need to go to this remove button choose it and you can see now I am just removing this from the ground so this is a very easy tool mainly this tool can be used when you want to scatter the same object on one 
object's surface number of times if you want to do it then this tool is useful now let me just show you the grass scattered on the ground using the scatter paint tool all over the ground you can just see now the grass is added all over the ground still i need to fill some gaps which are there but this is how you can use the scatter paint tool to scatter the selected object on the surface of other object so that's all in this video thanks for watching